subscribers and subscribers welcome back to the channel I have a classic for you guys you know check this out studio one Alton Ellis girl I've got a date grab your guitars let's go Yeah, man so I hope everybody can hear me well you know I'm trying out all my new um, gears you know um, so yeah let's jump to this one this one should not be too hard you know we should run through this in no time all right so let's keep this as short as possible all right want to keep it spicy and I, I want to keep people entertained all right this song is in the key of F and I just want to take the time out to say that if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, if this is your very first time tuning in, you still got time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification and hit also whenever I post a new video, anything, whatever I post, you will be alerted, you will be the first to know. Alright, so let's get back to this. So we're in the key of F. But I am not going to use this F. To get this F right you're going to bar the whole five six seven eight fret and you want to place that ring finger on the second third and fourth string right of the tenth fret right here so you're playing from the the a string down the last string is optional all right i wouldn't advise you to use it in this song anyways so so that would be your one that that would be your root all right so now the one that i'll be using which sounds much warmer to me is this one all right so and of course this song is a, a rock steady type of song all right so yeah, yeah we're gonna bar the whole fifth fret place the middle finger on the second string sixth fret place the ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, I want to place the pinky finger. I hope you guys can stretch those fingers. All right, but I know you should be able to do that. Um, place the pinky finger on the fifth string, eighth fret. All right, then you're going to be playing on the fifth string because this is where the root is. All right. So. So that's the root right there. But let's start with the that little stock line, that little riff. You know, that little riff, not rift. All right, so it sounds like this. All right, so you're going to be doing a, a long slide. Still, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> But it's quite easy. All right, so you want to come up here. And I choose this one because it sounds much better. I could always use this. Right? Then. But I choose this one. Okay? So. So you're basically using three notes right there. C. C. To the D, to the F, and you're, you're going back. So C D F D. So back to the I F C D F D F F. All right. So C D F D F F. Right. So here it is slow. Then you're gonna slide from the G, G all the way into that C, down to the B flat. But it, you're gonna be doing, all right? So. And 
And now remember to get the to get that muted sound, you're gonna use a palm. That's the palm doing that magic right there. Okay, so girl, I've got it there. All right. So now, I hope you got that riff, which should be easy. All right, I hope you guys are learning. I want you guys to learn from me. That's that's why I'm here. All right, so now we're going to move to that F. Or you can use your F, the one you know, or whatever one you feel more comfortable with. But I use this. If this is giving you trouble, I advise you to practice it because this sounds much warmer. This is a better sound. All right, so. Then you're going to move to the. B flat. So F major to B flat major. All right. So that's to get this B flat. You want to bar the whole sixth fret. You want to place a middle finger on the third string, seventh fret pinky finger on the fourth string eighth fret ring finger on the fifth string eighth fret so f b flat and i'm making this very simple for you folks all right there are probably some dominant in the song because we're talking about pseudo one and we're talking about early reggae early um rock steady and most of those songs used to have a lot of dominance and all that but um yeah so we're doing the simple version i guess right so this is just to get your folks started you know especially for all my beginners all right so here we go again to the b flat major now you are going to move to a minor which is right there. You just want to step back. So you want to bar the whole fifth fret and place that middle finger. Place that ring finger on the fifth string, seventh fret. Place a pinky finger below, right below. That's on the fourth string. Then you're going to go. Just da da da. Take it from me. All right, so let me show you what we're playing right there. So A minor. So we're talking about the bridge now. That's where we're at. Oh, no, no, no. To the B flat. Mm, 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 mm. Now you're going to move to the C major. That's a whole tone up. All right. So you want to have the pointer finger bar in the eighth fret. Take it from me, as free as a bird in the tree. Back to the F major, back to the C. Then you start. All right. So far, it not to be too confusing. Let's do it again. So, girl, I've got a day. Um, I just mean to the F major, back to the B flat major, then A minor. You stay there to the B flat major, da, 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 da. to the C same formation, mm, the bird. to the F major, back to the C. And that's basically what we're playing in the song, you know. That's the bridge and that's the verse. You know. So now, when you get to that A minor, as soon as you get to the A minor. Oh, no, no, no. That's a slide right there. So you want to stay on that A minor. And then you want to place, before you move, you want to place the middle finger on the third string. So you're basically turning back this A minor 
into a major, A major, and you slide into the B flat major. All right, that's where you're going. So here it is. And if I'm not lying, you're gonna do one slide on the A minor first. Then slide on the A in the B flat major again. Slide into the C major. That's the bird in the tree. Back to the C major. Girl, I've got a day. All right, so after that first bridge, you're going to play this riff one time. Girl, I've got a day. Uh -huh. And then after you play this verse, going into the bridge again, which is really look um, arm, the, the verse. <laughs> right? When you get back to the riff, you are going to play the riff four times now this time. All right? Which is, and I think that is basically it for the song. There's nothing more in it. All right? So I already show you guys the, you know, that C, D, F, D, F, F. Then slide from the G into the C, into the B flat. All right? And that's the riff. The cards are F major. B flat major, F major, B flat major, then start in the bridge, A minor, then you slide into the, you remember that you turn that A minor into an A major, slide that into the B flat major, so you do two slides on each, then Slide into the C major. There's a bird in the to the F major. Back to the A minor. That is it for the song. That's it. Alright. I'm feeling out to see if there will be any other chords. Of course, when you get to the A minor, you do not have to use the A minor. You can do the A minor 7. I strongly recommend it. And all you're going to do, you're going to remove the pinky finger. That's what you're going to do. It's just that when you're going to get back into the slide, you need to put down the pinky finger and the middle finger. Slide into that. Alright, and that is it for the song. Now, for the strumming, remember, you want to... As soon as you strike, get back with this hand to mute the string, right? And once you hit the string, when you strike the string with the pick, right? Or the plectrum, whatever they call it, you, you want to squeeze same time. But then, almost instantly, you want to relax the fingers. That's how you get the muted sound. You know? Because if you keep it down there, you're going to get... Which is the mistake that a lot of people make. All right? As soon as you strike, you want to squeeze. Same time. Squeeze and strike at the same time. And then almost instantly, you want to relax the fingers here. So it's like... That's basically what you're doing. Of course, the song is a bit slower than this, that's than what I'm playing right now. But that is basically it for this song, this classic, this hit from Mr. Alton Ellis, Major Rest's Soul. Yeah, man. This one is one of my favorite, of course. I'll be definitely going over the song to make sure that, you know, everything is there. And if not, I will definitely do an update. And you can check me out on my live Sundays. Remember, folks, we will recap every Sunday. You check me out live. We should be between the time of 12... PM to 1 PM. 
all right some will be but i will be posting some updates so you can check the community for some updates all right so um yeah man blessed love peace out remember to subscribe to the channel remember to recommend the channel share hit the thumbs up button one love peace out see you next time